Yo, 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 Cuzzo Nation, we back with another video. Cuzzo Nation, we are back with another video. We are, I am so happy uh, for all of you who uh, checked out the first video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff on that first video. Thank you all so much for your support. Just kind of want to give you all the background of what you all are supporting. The story goes a little bit deeper. I could have added some more stuff, but I didn't want the video to be extremely long. But as promised, I'm going to give you the tips, about five tips of starting your brand with little to no money. These are things that I've done, I teach, and I help other brands start from where they are to get where they're going to, to grow. So I want you to take out a pen and a pad, your iPad, your phone, whatever it takes to make sure that you get the information that's needed to do it because I want to help you all do it, do what's needed to take your brand to the next level. So one of the first things that you're going to need, it's not a lot of money. Nope. It's not uh, a lot of crazy designs actually either. Nope. The first thing you're going to need is passion. Huh? Yep. What passion out of all the other stuff? Not even great designs? Nope. Why is that? Because some people have made a lot of money on something that a lot of us wouldn't even consider buying. Like somebody would actually buy that, but people are not just buying the product. Some people are buying into the story. Some people actually like the functionality of it. It might be ugly, but it might work, work right. So one of the first things that you need before starting your brand and throwing a whole lot of money at it is having passion. If you've seen, uh, if you watch the first video, if not, go back and watch it again. We're on our way to becoming a million dollar brand. And we gotta get that YouTube plaque right there. You see it right there. That's a spot for it right there. Uh, we want you to go back and watch that because you realize my journey to where I am now, I am nowhere near where I wanna be, but I'm not where I started. And I'm at the point where I can help you and give you the tools of how to build your brand, how to take it from an idea from your head to actually getting things manufactured, actually getting things started, actually just starting from where you are to getting at least some of those baby steps to get you going. So one of the first things you gonna need is passion. Why is that? Because in the process of building your brand, you want to get a bunch of no's. People are like, nah, don't want it, not interested in it, don't like it, try something else. And if you don't have a passion behind what you're doing, you can't expect anybody else to have that same passion. You got to love what you, you're you doing regardless. Just like me, you seen in the first video, all of those rejection letters that I got from Nike, uh, tens of them, 20, about, about 20 letters all together from Nike saying, no, 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 we don't want you. Well, excuse we already got me. Our design team. And to that one letter, and that one magazine changed my life. That one yes can be all you need to get your foot in the door. But if you don't have passion, you're not going to be uh, have the enthusiasm to stay up to three or four in the morning. On my vision board, I got I took a screenshot of my phone one night. I'm up designing stuff, working on every part of the brand I could. And I took a screenshot. I'm up at four o'clock and only a few hours later, the song was coming up. But I always wanted to remind myself of what it took to get to this level. See, you all have the advantage of being able to watch a video like this, Facebook and Instagram, and being even able to talk to some of the people that are at the place that you want them to be. So my thing, the way that I grow is helping you grow. I mean, there's enough out here for all of us, so I don't have to hoard it all to myself. And to be able to help the next entrepreneur, the next brand that's coming up, because once you're secure in yourself, once you're secure in your brand, once you're secure in what you have, your passion, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't lessen you to help somebody else grow it actually helps you grow so one of the first things that you're going to need to start your brand is passion do you believe in this would you do it if nobody would even pay you for it even though we want to get paid for what we're doing but 
Is it that passionate enough that, hey, if I don't make money, I didn't make money in my first five to seven years. The, the brand really just started to become successful within the last three years. So are you willing to stick through it if you don't make money in the first four or five years? Because if you don't have passion and if you're in it just to make money, all that you're doing is throwing money to an expensive hobby. This has to be your passion. This has to be something that you want to do. You want to, your gift to the world, part of your purpose of why you're here. It has to be your, your passion. And then along with that, trends do come and go, but you have to stick to the DNA of your brand. What's the DNA of your brand? You can connect something that's trendy. Uh, just for example, this is one of my highest sellers. Uh, everybody knows that, you know, the bear, whatever. Sometimes things trickle down from high fashion to the couture to, uh, to brands that are less known around the world and then different people begin to take and make it their own. So what I decided to do was, why not even create a story? So th this is what's trending, this is what's nice, but why not have a story behind it? So we created Cuzzy. What's Cuzzy? Cuzzy, uh, you don't find him with looking like he's drunk or out of his mind or whatever. No shade to everybody that's doing that, but that's not a part of our DNA. That's not a part of our brand. We want to bring life, we want to bring connection around the world. So Cuzzy, he's a dope fly bear. He's dope for, for the grownest, toughest guy could wear him and still look fly to your family, your wife, your child, and you can still look fly rocking Cuzzy. Cuzzy is the dope, fresh bear. Even his name is dope, it's, it's Cuzzy. So you can take things from pop culture and use them and slide them into your own, make it your own, make it your own brand. What, what, is it, what does it say about you? What is it uh, representing from you? So another thing, and this is all the stuff you need to build before even starting throwing money at it, before building it and before putting it on a shirt. What is your DNA? What are you passionate about? What are you gonna bring to the masses that's not already out there? So again, make sure you got passion. Tell your DNA, what's your story? How can I blend it into what's popping? That's how you kind of sometimes get your introduction into fashion or to whatever it may be. Tell your story, what's unique about you? What would make people spend their hard earned money? They don't know you. They don't know you from Adam or whatever, but what would make them spend their hard earned money on you? Is it your pricing? Is it your design? Is it your story? So one of the first things I want y'all to do, once you got your passion, once you know, what's your DNA, what's your story, what you gonna bring to the world. The first thing I want you to do, and this stuff is free. So if y'all don't do what's free, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know how I can help you if you don't do the free stuff. And you'll be surprised. Some of the people that hit me up in my DMs or want to connect with me, and they haven't done the small, the small steps. Like how can I connect with you? And you're not doing the small stuff. And what I'm realizing now, time is valuable. Time is valuable. If we've seen anything with these last few years is that time is valuable. So I want you to take advantage of the stuff that you can do now for free. Yeah, free. Not even needing a lot of money to do. This is how you build your brand for, yeah, say it in the comments, free. So one of the first things I'm admonishing you all to do, that first thing is get all of your socials together not social security number. No, 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 no. Your social media. So you want to get your Facebook page together. You want to get your Instagram page together, your Twitter and what's trending now, TikTok. It was Snapchat. It's, it's kind of going back and forth with that. But the staples that we have, and those are uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Of those four, those are the, the ones that you can secure, you can get your own space, which is your address for free. You want to do it now because you don't want somebody who doesn't, who's not even serious about the name to have your name. They're all the way on another part of the world. And it's been your design, your, your, your passion to get this thing made and come to find out somebody else somewhere across the world has it and they're not even using it. They're posting baby dolls or something with your brand name. So whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing. Pause the video, come back to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Pause it, go and secure your name. This is the name of your brand. This is the name of your company. Even if you don't know what you're gonna do with it yet, go and secure your name. This is free. You don't have to, for now, they say they won't charge in the future, but for free. We don't know what Elon Musk is gonna do with Twitter either, but for now, it's free. Get your socials sold. That means your Facebook. 
your Instagram, your Twitter, your TikTok. You want to be able, because your name is everything. Your name is the representation of your brand. We even talk about logos. You want to make sure that you got your name because if you ain't got your name, you can't put your logo in that little space where I ask you to put your picture, your profile picture. You can't do it because you don't have a name. And a lot of times what brands have to end up doing is changing uh, how their name, their brand is pronounced or putting a Z where it was an S or things of that nature because they didn't take the time to secure what they wanted as their brand. So take the time, stop what you're doing, go and secure all of your social media names. The next thing you need to do is secure a domain name. Your domain name is gonna be your web space. It's your digital address where people all over the world can come and see what is it that you're about? Uh, what is it that you're trying to sell? I mean, what are your products? Uh, you don't have to even set it up. Just go, and, just go and secure your domain name. You can get names as cheap as 99 cents. 99 cents. As again, I said little to no money. You can secure your web name. Why not take your time and say, hey, I might not know specifically what I want to do, but I have this idea. Why not? That's how the dot-com era blew up. When people were realizing everybody was going to the internet to secure, uh, to start businesses and secure names for their company, people bought up all of those domain names. And so when the bigger companies came for them, they sold those domain names for hundreds and sometimes millions of dollars, all because of a name. So if you have a name right now, that's why they uh, have uh, expanded the extensive name from .com to .net to .club to whatever dot real estate they have all of these extensions of the domain because of the domain era when the the domain the dot com era just blew everything up so make sure you secure your name first on socials then on your website so you want to make sure that you secure you can even type in uh free domain names or cheap domain names there's a lot of companies out there where give you a domain name for 90 nine cents and then after that only 12.99 per year or to renew it or 14.99 whatever it is and if you do it for a longer period of time they even give you cheaper rates so secure your name it's out there it's free the next thing you want to do then when you want to go and look for logos whatever there's different sites uh there's Vecteezy, there's uh free pick these are places where you can get vector images for free if you kind of know where you uh how you want your brand to look and you're not that tech savvy you can type in say if you want your the name of your brand to be diamond brand just type in diamond and all different kind of diamonds and you know you want it to have this or that you can just uh there's different uh image softwares that you can use from photoshop to illustrator or some of the the platforms that's out there will allow you to do it to download them for free and all you have to do now, your job with this information I'm giving to you is to search it, research it. Uh, you have to do your homework, find out, just type in free vectors that you can get, uh, free vector programs that will allow you to be able to uh, use the artwork that you want to use. Because A lot of the vectors that's out there, they're free. And then there's a site I can give you where you can actually have people design your logo for, guess what? Not free, but $5. It, it, it's it, it's it's not a hundred, it's not a thousand, it's a start. So these are all the things that if you want to start your brand, you want to begin building your brand. Uh, the next videos we'll talk about starting with between a hundred and five hundred dollars to really get to the next level. And then another thing we're gonna talk about in the next video is proof of concept. Remember these words, proof of concept before you start throwing hundreds and thousands of dollars and trying to get trademarks and get a whole bunch of stuff made. Remember proof of concept. We're going to talk about that in the next video. But again, these are some of the simple steps that you can use to start getting your brand uh, started from the ground with no money down for little again to no money. These are the steps. So I'm charging you to do it again. Write down in the comment below if this video is helpful, what you would like to see in the future. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because you're a part, Cuzzle Nation. Cuzzle Nation, you're a part of that plaque right there. You're a part, we're gonna get it. It's gonna be right there. So we want you all to like, subscribe, even share. Share this with somebody who you know wants to start their own brand. Share this with somebody who has aspirations that say, like, I don't have the money or I don't know how to get started. Hey, there's no excuse. You can do it.
you can do it for free or little to no money. And then our next video, I'm gonna show you how you can start from 100 to $500 to getting things made, getting shirts printed, things of that nature to take it to the next level. But again, remember proof of concept. Again, Cuzzle Nation, thank you so much for everybody who supported the first video. Everybody that's new to Cuzzle Nation, what up and welcome to the Cuzzle family, man. We don't do nothing but spread love around here because regardless of your nationality, race, or creed, we are all family. Welcome to the family, Cuzzo. On to the next one. You got an event coming up. Man, you need a fit. It was just the right touch. You need something that's bold. Something pure gold. You need something that's cold. What you need is a, the ultimate expression of swagger.